Howdy mates, good afternoon. How are we all doing? It is Wednesday, May 11th, 2022. And as you can see, we definitely are having a little bit of a breezy day at the moment. And this wind has actually picked up within the last hour or so. I've been here for about three hours now, and when I arrived here, it was definitely not like this. It wasn't this active. So, it just goes to show that weather can change very quickly. Whether it just be an hour or a few hours, weather changes very quickly. But today, we're looking at the famous Gulf of Mexico, which is a body of water that lies on the west coast of Florida. And noticeably, what I like about this particular beach is that it's a little more primitive. This is over at Casperson Beach near Venice. I'm not going to disclose the exact location. You may just have to find it yourself. <laughs> Sometimes finding a really good spot takes some work, so I can't make it too easy for you guys. Needless to say, the Gulf is of course well known for having its turquoise waters, and especially with what's going on right now due to the high winds, it's allowing enough opportunity for the water to be mixed, thus raising the turbidity even more. So usually because of sediment mixture and even based on the reflection of the sky, that is why the water, or specifically the gulf, has the colors that it possesses. It is a gorgeous day out here to be near the water. Now, you can kayak to this particular spot, but I just decided to hike it, make my way over here by walking. And sometimes that's all right. But, of course, what you will see here are cabbage palm. That's always the most prominent palm found out here and this is actually a great uh, demonstration that I always find really cool to point out whenever there's an opportunity. So here we are, we're looking at a cabbage palm and you may notice a particular feature, you may notice these right here. Well there's actually a particular name for them, they're actually called boots. I believe they're called boots because when settlers came here, they actually used these to hang their boots if they were soaking wet. They used them to dry, basically. But mostly, the boots are just what they used to be were fronds that connected to the palm. But since, you know, growth happens, sometimes those fronds will fall off. Now, another neat feature about the cabbage palm is right here. It's the actual fiber itself. I've heard it be called a couple of different things, but personally, I like to call it monkey hair. This is actually a great fire starter if you're ever stuck out here and need a means to have kindling for a fire. So, great useful tool, or I should say resource, right there. Absolutely. But yeah. And actually, right by me too, this is such a narrow passage of land. It's essentially like a tiny barrier island. But to my right, 
is basically a bay, which then basically means that it's an estuary in essence. So, yeah, with that being said, you know, we're on a very narrow passage. You know, the gulf is right in front of me, and right behind me is the bay, which that water right now is a little more stagnant. So there are some spots where you might smell a little bit of sulfur dioxide. And that's not, a, that's not because of pollution or waste product. That's just simply, you know, whether it be tr uh, leaves, for instance, it's just the smell that occurs when things naturally decay. So it's not, you know, from pollution or anything. It's just a natural smell that is emitted. And sometimes the type of soil down here can smell even worse because oxygen isn't always present. So that's another reason. Please keep that in mind too. So all right, you guys. I think this is a good wrap-up point. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And enjoy the view of the Gulf. And journey on a journey is outwards. Take care, folks.